the First World War is the catalyst for the modern world that we live in. So many things were changed as a result of what happened between 1914 and 1918 that we really should look at it again. It's a long way away. There's nobody around anymore who remembers it. When I was a kid, there were people around who were born in the Victorian years who you could talk about the First World War with them. I used to run errands for a guy who had been gassed in Flanders in 1918. They're all gone. There's, we have no direct connection with it. So organising a commemoration, I think, is, is important, it's significant. Well, we were already going to mark the 100th anniversary of the assassination of the Archduke Ferdinand on Saturday. I'd asked three uh, musicians who were taking part in the Radical Roundup with me. I actually chose them specifically because I knew they had songs pertaining to the First World War. Matt Skinner has a beautiful uh, song called The Scarecrow, which he'll be performing, which is based on a poem uh, written by someone who's in the trenches. O'Hooley and Tidal, I know they've got a song about the uh, nurse Edith Cavell, although they've written a new song to perform for the project. And um, Get Cape, Wear Cape, Fly, Sam Duckworth, He's a very good songwriter. I knew if I said to him, you know, we're celebrating the first thing, he'll be like, oh, that's interesting. As a young female songwriter, Lucy Ward, who's performing today, she's written a song. I was confident that she'd be able to do that. And uh, Rob Johnson, who's performing on Sunday, has actually written an entire song cycle about his two grandfather's experience during the First World War called Gentle Men, which is really, really brilliant. So it was absolutely no brainer to invite him to be part of the project as well. Although we're not celebrating, we are trying to respect uh, commemorate in a, in a respectful way what uh, happened to those people, real people, individual people during the First World War.